in the heart of Ashford Grove, a city teeming with history and culture, a new chapter was about to unfold. Known for its vibrant streets, iconic landmarks and the unwavering spirit of its people, Ashford Grove had long yearned for a football club to represent its passion on the pitch. In 2021, amidst the bustling streets and spirited community, the dream came to life. Vance Studios County FC was established, born from the collective passion and determination of the city's residents. This was not just a football club, it was a symbol of unity and pride for Ashford Grove. With unwavering support, the city's football enthusiasts rallied together, creating a club from the ground up. They started with nothing but the spirit of their community and a small budget, playing in the championship. Against all odds, Vance Studios County FC climbed the ranks and achieved promotion to the Premier League. With the club's promotion to the Premier League, Daniel knew they needed a manager who could inspire both the players and the fans. As he reviewed the list of potential candidates, one name stood out was Vicente, the two-time Ballon d'Or winner and retired legend. Good evening, I'm Ray Thompson and welcome to Van Studios News. In today's top story, Van Studios County FC has made a significant announcement that is set to shape the future of the club. Daniel, the owner of Van Studios County FC, has officially appointed Vicente as the new manager. This decision marks a new chapter for the team as they prepare for their inaugural Premier League season. A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. Vicente, a recently retired player with a distinguished career, has strong ties to the Ashford Grove area, with part of his family hailing from here. His appointment has been met with widespread enthusiasm from fans and players alike. This is Mackelson, the captain and goalkeeper of Vance Studios County FC, a true veteran of the team. This is Ndri. A right back who has consistently performed at a high level since his academy days, showing no signs of slowing down. This is David, a powerhouse of aggression and determination. He runs tirelessly and commands respect on the field. This is Hagen, lightning fast and capable of taking on multiple players. Test him at your own risk. This is Kramer, who leads the defence like no other. He also demonstrates his versatility by excelling in multiple positions on the field. This is Fuentes, a classic winger who dazzles with exceptional skills. He is truly one of a kind. This is Miles, who will fight for the badge no matter what it takes. It's no wonder he's adored by the fans. This is Shevchenko, a true work of art. His long-range passes are out of this world, and he's never afraid to show it. This is Gardner, incredibly fast and a set-piece specialist. He's a true beast of a player. This is Jovanovic the vice-captain and a goal machine ready to make an impact in the Premier League. As we kick off this season's journey, our primary goal is clear, secure Premier League survival. It's not just about staying in the top flight, it's about thriving. Objective, finish the season outside the relegation zone. Challenge, with limited financial resources, this will require smart transfers and excellent squad management. Objective, Promote at least two youth academy players to the first team and give them a total of 10 appearances. Challenge, balancing the development of young talent with the need to secure points in the league. Objective, reach at least the round of 16 in either the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup. Challenge, competing on multiple fronts with a small squad. Objective, end the season with a positive financial balance. Challenge, managing the club's finances effectively while strengthening the squad and achieving on-pitch success. Objective, sign at least one player with an overall rating of 75 or higher. Challenge, attracting quality players on a tight budget. Objective, increase match day attendance and social media following by 10%. Challenge, ensuring exciting performances and community engagement to grow the club's fan base. It's pre-season time and we'll focus our efforts on developing the players' set-piece practices such as crossing and heading.
decided to phone one in, did we? Next session, you do well to show up. Vicente has successfully completed his first training session and got to know his players. Taking on his first management role, he exudes confidence and determination. The players responded positively to his leadership, showing enthusiasm and readiness for the challenges ahead. Most importantly, the fans are buzzing with excitement and anticipation. The energy around the club is palpable, with everyone united in their belief that this season could be something truly special. Have you with us? We've travelled today to the Bismarckstrasse in Leverkusen. We're at the Bay Arena. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary... How close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. Here at the helm, obviously all smiles and handshakes before kickoff, but you do feel, don't you, it's vital he gets off to a quick start. Well, as with any new manager, he'll want to get his ideas across very quickly. It's just whether the players are willing to adapt to his style of play. Today will give us a good indication. Who can he pick out? Struggling to get it away. Wonderful block. Jovanovic. Oh, what an opportunity. And a goal! Who else but Jovanovic to score and put Vance Studios FC ahead? It shows he is picking up quickly in training. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team. There is still fear at the club that he might get sold, as big clubs are already showing interest in him. One nil then. It's in a go. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Let's see about the delivery. Not the best clearance. Closing the book on the first half here at the Bay Arena. It's half time and the players are performing well, moving the ball effectively. The star of the team, Jovanovic, has already scored. Let's hope for another strong half. Well, they've got things going again here. And, a... and pressing from the front. A good looking ball. Nicely cut out. Behind, but they might be onto something here. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. Well, he couldn't quite keep it on. The manager decides to change things up and bring in fresh legs to avoid injuries. He also plans to play the youth players to ensure they are ready for the season. Time running out. This could be the equaliser. But no, when your goalkeeper comes up... Take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more, but let's credit the goalkeeper. And he's in. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. He does it again with such a beautiful pass from Sadler. One of the youth players set to go on loan soon. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Room on the wing for County. In with a chance. Going for the dink, and that's the hat-trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again, they simply can't handle him! Well, he shows a lot of composure here, he just gets enough on it, that's a good finish.
referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaint. Jovanovic managed to secure a hat trick with such a great performance. Everything around the club seems positive, not only for the fans, but for the upcoming season as well. Vicente attends his first press conference without an idea of what to expect for the Manchester City game. This is a very exciting season for you, but it won't be easy. With the heavy debt the club has, how will you manage to compete? Do you think the team is ready to avoid embarrassment this season? Jovanovic might leave soon since big clubs are scouting him. Any thoughts on this? That's all we've got time for today. Thanks for coming, everyone. Manager Vicente focused on the run and block drill, especially since Manchester City are loaded with a very difficult attack. of a new Premier League season, both teams will be looking to start quickly. You can feel the excitement in the air. It's the first game of the season and this could define how our season will unfold. Game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. Team facing Manchester City. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long way, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. Could go ahead and find goalkeeping. Through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. Cross could be useful. And the danger cleared. Gives it a go. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, it's a great chance here, and don't these fans know it? And take it short. The delivery. Clearance needed to be better. Just unable to get his cross and up the defence. chance to put them in front and it goes the opening goal in this contest well I think that shows what a good rapport he has with the players well here it is again and the pace in which they break forward is devastating it's so hard to defend against and then Haaland finishes it with such quality just look how much power he hits this with it's a top class goal from a top class player so on they go again and County will hope to respond in time a minimum of one minute oh the threat is there took a really smart piece of defending to stop them that is that. Not a great start, but it was expected. The defence is a bit shaky against City's difficult attack. However, this game is an opportunity to at least show that we can compete. Vicente instructs his full-backs to push higher up the field and provide Jovanovic with service as needed. The players seem confident yet intimidated at the same time, which is understandable since this is their first time in the Premier League facing one of the best teams. This could square the game. Well, a vital interception to snuff out the danger. Maybe substitutions will help. It seems our midfield isn't strong enough, and that's where we're losing the ball more. This could be it. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. That's really good and effective physical play. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. And wasteful from County. Foden. Can they stop it going in? 
Remarkable save, yes again, inspirational. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far We did okay. We defended well in the second half. We'll take this scoreline and focus on improving, especially our midfield. Perhaps we'll also look to invest in an additional player on the wing if possible. Just a moment of your time. Obviously, a disappointing start. What positives did you take from the game? Did Woods perform well? Is he one for the future who can help the club this season? Any transfers in mind before the window closes in a couple of weeks? That'll be all, thank you. Not a great start, but we showed passion on the field. Perhaps we can aim to at least finish just above 17th place. Vance Studios County FC manager Vicente spoke to the owners about potential transfers, but the club currently has no funds available. The only option is to look at free agents, which has been done. Vicente and Alvarado's camp have discussed the potential of joining our club, and the talks went well. Greetings everyone, this is Ray Thompson with your daily transfer news. Today, Van Studios County FC has managed to secure the talented Alvarado on a free deal with wages of 46000 a week, making him the highest paid player at the club. It's rumored that he has signed for at least five years and will begin training immediately. The fans have received it well and shown their support on X formerly known as Twitter. Will this turn out to be a good signing? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you for watching. The next video is coming soon, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, see you on the pitch.